everybody. So today I'm continuing on in my series of my top 100 uh, films of all time, my favorites, which is crazy hard to do. And I've gone over it and over it and over and over again. I've already given you my 100 through 81. And so I hope you've enjoyed those videos. Today we're talking about my number 80 to 71. So this one would be very interesting, probably uh, be, have some surprises in there <laughs> for you. So, okay, at number 80, I have Easter Parade. I just reviewed this for Family Movie Night, so I just saw it again, and I loved it. I loved all the songs. I loved Fred Astaire. Yeah, all his dancing is amazing. I loved Judy Garland. She was so great. She was so warm and lovely and uh, the plot is pretty simple, but I actually even preferred it over uh, White Christmas. I don't, I just thought it was so sweet and I loved all of the songs and the dancing. I just thought it was great. So that is number 80, uh, Easter Parade. Number 79, I have Sleeping Beauty. And this movie is a just gorgeous film and the, the layers to the animation are so beautiful. They spent like 10 years making it, uh, just the, the lushness of it. I love the, the characters. I mean, really the, the Kings, their moment where they're, that, that goes on a little too long, the Kings drinking scene. But other than that, I mean, I just love Maleficent so much. She's so much fun, uh, way better than the live action movie, but she's so intimidating. She's so petty. She's so scary. And I love the fairies. They're so smart, but they're also funny. They're sweet. And uh, they are the ones that kind of save the day. I think Philip is an awesome prince. He is just kick butt uh, <laughs> with fighting dragons. I love the scene with him and Maleficent when he has, she has him in the dungeon. So good. I just, I love the blessings scene. That's so beautiful. Uh, love the music and how they worked in the ballet uh, into this new thing and Once Upon a Dream is so great. So there you go. I have it at 79. Number 78, I have While You Were Sleeping, which is one of my favorite romantic comedies. Remember, this is not the best movies. It's just my favorite. And I love While You Were Sleeping. I love the chemistry uh, between Sandra Bullock and Bill Pullman. I think it's so sweet and so great. I love all of the dialogue, especially the dinner scene when they're all talking over each other. I think it's so funny. I think it, there's a real heart to the movie that's just lovely. I think the ending is so perfectly done. Uh, you know, it's a liar reveal, which is one of my least favorite uh, rom-com tropes, but it works here. They execute it really well because I like the characters so much. And just the idea that she's always wanted to travel, but she's never gotten to. There's just a sweetness to that. I think that's great. Number 77, I have Brooklyn, a movie that I just love the character so much. She's such a interesting character as she, as she weighs these two options that are like good options. And I like the fact that they made both of the guys uh, like compelling choices and interesting choices and ones that she probably would be happy with either of them. That made it interesting. I didn't know what she was going to do. It's so beautifully filmed. It's... Uh, just a real human story. I like how rich it is, how these little side characters like the, the priest that she goes to or her friend from work or the, the various girls at the boarding house she stays at. Uh, Julie Walters is so great as uh, the, the mother of that boarding house. Uh, they all are pretty well developed. They're not just sort of one note. They have like, you get to see just a little growth and a little story arc from all of them. I think it's really well done. And Susan Ronan is just fantastic in the lead role. So that gets 77 is Brooklyn. 76 is The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. It's probably, I think, the most underrated Disney film. I, I know that it's a technically, I guess, a package film combined of these three shorts, but I love all three of the shorts. I think they're so sweet, and I think that uh, they have such heart to them. Like, I mean, just little things like when, when Tigger can't bounce anymore, and you just see the look on his face is so sad. And uh, that's just a great scene. I love I'm just little moments like when Pooh is doing his exercises and so sweet. And, and like, I love when Piglet is decides to give up his house uh, to Owl. That's a really sweet scene. And, uh, and Pooh says, 
he says, I, where, I, I guess I shall live. I, I, I guess I shall live. And Pooh says, you shall live with me. It's just so sweet. And I love the ending when they talk about uh, being remembered. And Christopher says, we always remember me. Oh, it makes me tear up every time. I love it. So it's number 76. Number 75, I have Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. And this movie is uh, really heartfelt, really lovely. I think that Jimmy Stewart's performance is so great. I love Jean Arthur. She's one of my favorites from that era of, of uh, movies. I love Frank Capper movies. This is not the first time that you'll see him on this list. I, I just, I think that you know, this is about fighting for lost causes. And, and I think that we all need to remember to fight for lost causes sometimes. And, uh, you know, you just, you become so engrossed with him as he just becomes all the more sort of desperate and to hold on to anything that is good and true. And, uh, it's, it's just a lovely film. So I have it at 75. Number 74, I have Walk the Line. I love Walk the Line. I love the characters because they feel authentic and they feel real. I think that Reese Witherspoon and Joaquin Phoenix are so great as June and Johnny. And uh, they, they feel authentic. And I think them doing the singing helps a lot. And I think that they are good singers. And I love their versions of the songs. I think they really work. And, uh, you know, they're not perfect people. They make big mistakes. But I think that that all goes into sort of helping me feel invested in them as human beings and in their relationship. And uh, I love when he goes on like the June Carter love walk. It's so great. And uh, yeah, I just, it's one, it's probably my, well, it's one of my favorite biopics uh, of all time. I love that they just focus on this one part of his life and don't try to tell his whole story. I think that that really works. So uh, yeah, walk the line, number 74. Number 73, I have The Fugitive. This movie is so well made. It is so well paced. Like it just, it just doesn't lose a beat in, in, uh, in what's going to happen next and the next sort of uh, momentum. It doesn't lose energy. You're never bored. And uh, you know, you're convinced that Richard Kimball is innocent, but you don't know how he's going to convince the uh tom lee jones character that he is innocent uh you just it feels like it's just a, a lost cause it feels like it's never gonna work and i just i it's so well written and well acted tom lee jones is so great he deserved his oscar for this 72 i have wait until dark this is a horror movie i wanted to at least have some it's more scary thriller whatever you want to call it i don't even know these days but this is a pretty scary movie and it's about this blind woman who ends up having this sort of package she doesn't realize that she has she's sort of stalked by this man from the mob played by alan arkin and it's creepy it's scary uh you really feel audrey Hepburn is so great in the role you really feel for her character and it has one of the best jump scares i think in all of movies like it is so effective the first time i saw it i just jumped like uh, <laughs> in the air and we were all watching it outside on the lawn it's in my college and everybody was just laughing and having a great time and it's just such a fun movie uh it's a way to do scary movies but do them effectively and chilling and uh not too graphic so i have that at 72 now this one's going to be very controversial. So number 71, I have Lord of the Rings and I'm just including all three. Uh, so Lord of the Rings, they're great films and uh, they're the, probably the most epic films known to man. I mean, it's kind of amazing that I have them on my list at all because I'm just not a big fantasy person, but they are super well made and they have such heart. Samwise becomes such an amazing character. You really feel for him especially by the end, you know, that he has become the hero of the story, it kind of changes from Frodo, Frodo to Samwise by the end. And uh, the, you know, just, it just becomes more and more increasingly desperate. And I think the acting and the, 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 those moments of heart really just are so great. And the reason why I have it this low is because I'm just not that into fantasy in general. And I just, I like things that are more about people that I can kind of relate to a little bit, or I guess that are more of a fairy tale if they're fantasy. 
Um, and I just never have even my whole life. Uh, and I, the Hobbit movies are, I really dislike the Hobbit movies. So, uh, but I have seven, I have it at 71. Um, and I think that they can also get a little muddled as far as the core story of the hobbits, which is what I'm most interested in and Aragorn and some of the other characters sometimes can get lost in just like an overload of action and the battle scenes can be a little long and drawn out for me especially in the second movie um there's still all three really good movies i have all the movies on my top 100 i really like to love and so you know i struggle with this i know a lot of people would have it way higher but that's just where i have for my taste and like the fact that it's this high is actually like sign that they're super good movies because i don't really like fantasy so there you go. They're at 71. So that is my 71 through 80. I have at 80, Easter Parade, at 79, Sleeping Beauty, at 78, While You Were Sleeping, at 77, Brooklyn, at 76, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, 75, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, 74, Walk the Line, 73, The Fugitive, 72, Wait Until Dark, and at 71, The Lord of the Rings Trilogy. So there you go. Let me know what you think of this part of my ranking. And thanks so much. Please subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you later.